In this video, I will show you how to install Visual Studio Code on your Macintosh. To start, we will go inside the internet and write Visual Code. Then you will find the linked Visual Studio Code. In this page, we will have a blue button download for Mac. We will click in it. And then we will have a pop-up to allow the download from the internet. Once the download is finished, you will go inside your download and click on the Visual Studio Code. Perfect. Then you will click on Open on your Macintosh. And when the program has finished, we can close the internet page and we will have a little pop-up that you can close. We will maximize the screen and here we go. We have our Visual Studio Code. We will click on open folder and inside the open folder, you will go in your home folder, Android Studio Project and Flutter App Testing. And this is the path of your project Flutter. If you don't remember the path and it's not the same, you can go back in the previous video at 30 seconds. Perfect. Then we continue. You can click on lib and main. And as you can see, there is another pop-up. You can click on search market. And this is for downloading Flutter and Dart. If you don't have the pop-up, you can find this same place by clicking on the little icon like that and write ext double point Dart. And you can install Flutter and Dart. Perfect. Once this is done, we will need to install more plugin. The other one will be the awesome Flutter snippet. I will explain you later in this uh, video what uh, those plugins are used for. Then you will create, uh, you will write another plugin, and this one will be the bracket pair colorizer two and you will install this one as well. I have another plugin for you, but I will show you what uh, this one will do. First, if we go inside our files on this icon, you can see that we don't have icons before every file. We will solve this later. If you click on the main, you will see the difference between the pair colorizer to or not. This is without, and this is with the bracket pair colorizer. Perfect. Then we can go back inside our plugin and we will write material icon theme. We will download this one. And if we go back in our file, now you will have some icon before every file, as you can see right here. Now the awesome Flutter snippet that we downloaded first, this one is to help us code with Flutter. So we will have some writing uh, accessible easily. Then you can press on the play button to start the emulator. Select your phone and start it. So you will have your Flutter project on the screen and you will be able to click once again on the plus sign to make a count every time you click. That's good. You will have a little pop-up on the bottom right of the screen. And this pop-up, you can write that it's for Dart DevTool. I don't use it, so I will press never. Here we go. We just downloaded Visual Studio Code and we are ready to continue on the next video with how to install Xcode. So see you on the next one. Bye.